Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you the Raspberry Pi. I just got this in the post. So I'm playing with all these evaluation boards and this is the Raspberry Pi 3. So let's just do a bit of an unboxing. This is actually coming all the way from the UK and uh, it's a bit battered as you can see in the courier but who cares about that, that's just packaging. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just the normal labeling. Um, and then this is from RS, RS Components. And they're the vendors or the distributors of uh, this particular um, unit. So not, not nothing special here, just a normal packaging here that comes with. Um, you got this uh, this anti-static bag with the unit in there, and then this is the I don't know regulatory compliance and safety information. I guess EMC compliance statements. I guess they're just saying that it's all being validated for quality and all that sort of stuff so there you go now this is what we're really interested in this is the the unit so yeah it's very small actually smaller than the the oidroid c2 board you got your four usb ports you got your gigabit this one's actually got wi-fi and bluetooth built in uh, there's the radio and what I'll do is I'll show you guys the comparison between the two units. You have the micro USB HDMI. There's a couple of jumpers. Of course, you've got your program I.O. there. And on the back, you've got your SD card slot. And <clears throat> this one's actually a Broadcom SOC. It's the Broadcom BCM2837. And, um, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know, there's some more chips down at the back there. I'll go through that in a second, but basically this is a... It's got a Broadcom GPU and a Broadcom SOC. It's got one gigabyte of RAM. Nine, 900 megahertz RAM. Uh, it's actually not gigabit Ethernet, it's 10100. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got the, it's got, uh, you know, the 802.11n wireless. It's got Bluetooth 4.1. And also it's got Bluetooth low energy. It hasn't got any um, um, eMMC memory. Um, HDMI obviously, analog. Actually, no, sorry, this is the analog. This is the analog uh, port here for audio, audio jack. So it's got, it's got quite a lot of I.O. and which is quite useful for building all types of different products or different projects. Um, it's got a serial, it's got a, I think this is the serial, no, this is for the display. Yeah, there you go. This is for the display, so you can plug in an external display, an LCD display. And this is an interface for the camera, a serial interface for a camera. So, unusually different from the, um, from the, the C2 Oidroid. So there you go, look, there, there, there's a comparison. That's your Oidroid C2. And this one's actually lighter. This board feels lighter because of the heat sink here. This is pretty heavy. And on, as you can see, they're, they're, they're pretty much, well, they are credit card size, so the, the footprint is, is the same. But this, this one is actually heavier, mainly for the heat sink, I guess. Different types of I.O. as well. This one, Oidroid, does not come with built-in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth but it does come with a gigabit um, ethernet port and the CPU clock speed on the C2 is much faster the SOC, the, the, uh, the CPU on the a Raspberry Pi is a 4x ARM Cortex A53 clocked at 1.2 gigahertz and the C2 is a it's a 2 gigahertz, gigahertz quad core CPU and it's the same as the same as this one uh, that, that is on the actual um, Raspberry Pi. It's, it's an A53 as well, but the C2 has a Mail 450 GPU, GPU sorry, Mail uh, Mail 450 GPU, three pixel processor plus two verte vertex shader processors. So it's got l quite a lot of GPU processing power. And this one comes standard with two gigabytes of DDR memory, DDR3 memory, so it's faster memory than the Raspberry Pi. 
It's got HDMI 4K. This one doesn't have 4K output. The HDMI is not 4K on the Raspberry Pi, from what I know. Um, it also allows you to have eMMC memory, so it means it's faster boot time, and generally it will power up faster. So overall, um, well, this one also the C2 does have an inf infrared receiver, and um, I don't think the Raspberry Pi does. So different types of applications, I guess. So the C2 is definitely more powerful than your uh, Raspberry Pi, but very similar in footprint, I, I guess. And both of them are rocking the uh, all the ports, the uh, USB ports. But of course, the C2 is a is a gigabit is a gigabit Ethernet, not 10100, which is what the Raspberry Pi is. But the Raspberry Pi also has an audio output, which the C2 does not. So, I don't know. I guess just horses for courses, really. So there you go. That's my little unboxing comparison between the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Oidroid C2, which is a 64-bit. Uh, actually, they're both 64-bit, actually. So, not much there. All right, guys. Um, I will be actually booting this up as well, These uh, the Raspberry Pi up. I'm intending to use the Raspberry Pi for... Um, my home automation system will be using a Z-Wave stick into the USB port and running up Home Assistant which is the open source software to control bits and pieces around my house. So wait for that video, I'll be showing you guys how I've done that. So alright, till the next one guys, enjoy and go out and get yourself one of these toys to play with.